So let's go into your reading, okay? So the first thing that's coming through here, we do have some options that are made available to you. But like I said, I feel like the options are coming in, but you haven't really decided yet and you haven't really made a choice. So the Four of Cups usually uh, denotes um, a situation where we do have some options on our, on the, our plate and we can decide how we want to go forward, okay? In some rare instances, this is also telling me that it's it's like the definition from the facade.com website and that I really like is uh, longing for the undefinable, okay? So there's this thing up here that you want and you feel like it's the holy grail and this is something that you really desire. But I feel like, first of all, it hasn't really been well thought out. It hasn't been formulated. And I feel that you're still thinking about this. And you're trying to decide, how do I get there? You know, what do I do with these other options in order for me to achieve that holy grail? In order for me to achieve that wish? In order for me to have this one thing that I really want? So, the other definition of this card is boredom, ruminating, um, longing for something that you can't have or you know is not good for you, and rejecting the other options. So I feel like a lot of you might be dealing with a combination of all these three interpretations, which leads me to believe that you have some options and you're still trying to decide. You're not really budging just yet. And you're still trying to decide, you know, what's the next step? What do I do from here? And in the background, we do have this tree. And the trees, usually for me, they always indicate like a lot of wisdom because they've been around for a long time. I mean, it's an old tree. Um, wisdom through, you know, um, calmness, through tranquility, through meditation. So I feel that for a lot of you, um, you've come to a point where you are maturing. You're coming into um, across information and you're coming across situations that have made you mature, grow up and that has, you know, provided you with a lot of wisdom. And there's this inner sense of tranquility about you that I feel coming through for this month. It's that phase where, you know, it feels to me like acceptance, you know. It feels like I'm accepting that this is the situation that I'm dealing with and I'm trying to decide what to do next. So I feel like that's the contemplative state that you're in. It's linked up with the strength card and both of these combination denotes to me that you have some sort of a strong divine protection around you that's happening right now okay and I'm, I'm feeling a very strong like maternal influence so somebody that might be might have already crossed over and the thing about the strength card is it's very different from the emperor or the empress card or even the high priestess the strength card indicates like some type of divine protection from angels is what I'm seeing, okay? And I feel like somebody is like whispering in your ears, giving you some type of spiritual advice. And I feel they're doing that so that you can work up the courage in order to take these options, okay? So I feel like a lot of you want stable, uh, security and a lot of you want stability. You want the path that is going to lead you exactly where to, to the thing that you want. And I feel like all these options are serving as like detours, you know. It's like the um, the path to getting there should be linear, right? Like very straightforward, A to B. But all these little options involve a lot of little detours along the way. And you feel like if I were to go with option A, it's going to take me like five months. Option B, ten months and so on. And I feel like you want the fastest route. That's what I'm sensing. And, and your guys are telling you. Um, things in life happen for a reason and it's not really so much about the destination. It's all about the learning process. So whatever route that you take, it's going to take you exactly where you are predestined to go. So it's just a matter of you like um, trusting that it's about the learning experience, okay? It's about the experience of having that you're going to get along the journey of life. So I feel like you're thinking about this situation and you're getting some very strong divine messages coming through that's telling you to be patient and to be courageous as well. Take the step and they will guide you along the way. So I feel like that's what's happening here. And um, whatever you start now, whatever you start now for this month, I feel that things are going to start uh, culminating and coming to fruition. And I do feel it's going to emerge in about, um, it's going to like bear fruit or something like that, possibly in about four months time. That's going to take us into 
September so like January of next year I feel like something emerging from this and it's gonna be really uh, fruitful for you okay so there's an element here of four so for example if something is like if you're ruminating over something and you're like this one takes five months or five weeks the other one takes four months or four weeks go with that four months four week option okay there's an element of four here that they really want you to keep an eye out for all right and i feel like they might be investment opportunities uh for some of you others it might just be options about like you know when do i start or um uh like what's the salary cap there's an element here of four so keep an uh, eye out for that okay if that's coming through for you in terms of your communication we do have the three of pentacles and the princess of swords so i really like this card and i really like this combination together so let's talk about this card first the three of pentacles is about uh discussions okay with collaboration discussions with other people and it's uh working together with somebody a group of people or another individual to build something of value and this is a really good card which means that you are are um, I guess like in 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 the same path you know like everyone is cooperating and everyone is trying to work towards a common goal the princess of swords or the page of swords indicates to me like research communication back and forth the exchange of technical information okay both of these things indicate to me that i feel like for right now you're thinking about expanding something you're thinking about building something and i feel like it is career related and the pentacles card the pentacles are not filled in so they're not filled in in the way that other the other pentacles are in like the traditional rider right weight deck it's usually filled in or it's usually left empty okay so in this case it's sort of like you're trying to decide you know what do i need to do to boost my resume for example that's the three of pentacles what do i need to do to launch the next thing and what do i need to do like to make my money grow for me so you're consulting somebody on how to make something grow on how to do something on a practical level and coupled with the three of swords uh, I'm sorry the page of swords this indicates to me some type of a research some type of preliminary you know uh, reading up on information studying something learning something getting technical details and at least like um, getting a lot of communication from other people getting advice counsel and things like that as well as to how you can expand something okay for others of you, you might be involved with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra in some capacity where you are both trying to work together to build something together. And you're a water sign, they are a um, an air sign. So I feel that they might push you um, to make a decision. I, I do sense that, okay? So in whatever capacity you're coming to them with or they're coming to you uh, in, I feel that you both are trying to build something together, trying to solidify something. And because they're more communicative, they might say, here's this option, here's that option, here's something else that I, I've thrown up. So these are all options. There's a lot of information that they're throwing your way. And I feel like you're, um, you're a kind of afraid to act. That's what I'm feeling. You're taking in all of the information that they're giving you and they're you're processing everything. You know, they might be like, let's go here, here, here. And it's a lot of options. And, you know, as a water sign, and I see this like with Scorpios and um, Pisces, especially Cancers are a little bit more like go with the flow, you know, like whatever you decide to do, that's fine. But with Scorpios and uh, Pisces, you're very deliberate with with like um your decision so whatever so i just want you to know that when you're dealing with this person they suggest a lot of things okay and the things might not be practical and don't take everything that that they're saying as a serious suggestion you know take everything with a grain of salt i would say and they just throw information you know suggestions out there and they're going to give you a lot to think about. And it's not realistic to take everything that they say to heart. So, for example, if they're telling you, hey, this weekend, let's do these seven things. Pick the one that you want and don't overthink it. Just pick the one that you want and then go with that, okay? Because I feel like they're giving you a lot of information and you're overthinking it. And you're like withdrawing because you're inundated with information. So, I feel like... 
it doesn't have to be like that because I feel that they're they're a little bit more innocent, more childlike. So they're gonna throw a lot of information your way, and you don't need to you know take too long because these are just very very minor decisions. That's what I'm sensing here. So don't uh, overthink it, okay? Don't be too slow to act. Is what I feel. In terms of your emotional state and. Um, once again, really good combinations. Um, we do have the King of Cups as well as the Ten of Cups. So let's talk about this situation first with the King of Cups. This is a situation in which I feel like you have mastery or you, you have like total mastery over your emotions, okay? This is like the culmination or the apex of that, you know, the, the cup suit where someone is really in control of how they feel. This indicates emotional balance, emotional stability, and also having that ability to um, know when you need to invest your emotions and know when to draw back your emotions. So this is like ultimately, I feel like a lot of you have drawn boundaries, clear boundaries between yourself and other people. And I feel like right now you're in a really, really good state emotionally. So I'm really happy to see this card for you guys. We also have the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is basically total bliss, joy, emotional happiness, okay? And I feel like whatever you are dealing with for this month, or in the past, especially in August, um, other people's affairs, other things that are external to you, you're not letting them get to you. So I don't feel like you're easily swayed um, by other people and their emotional fluctuations, okay? You're very in control at this present moment. I feel this combination also indicates a lot of support, a lot of love coming in from family, friends, loved ones, and your environment. You're getting a lot of support. So I feel like whatever you step that you're planning to make, and you're just like, I need to decide on my future, on my career, on the next path in my life. Whatever you decide... Other people, especially the people that are around you, are going to be really supportive. So I feel like someone is like, they, they, you know, they see that you're trying to do this. So they're sending a lot of information your way to help you. So for example, you might have been like um, building up your resume and you might have been job hunting. I feel like friends and family might randomly shoot you emails and they say, here's a job that I came across. You might be interested. So you're getting a lot of support. You're getting a lot of communication and you're getting a lot of good ideas from other people. But the thing is that sometimes they might like inundate you with too much information, too much attention, too much love. And it's like you don't really have enough time, you know, in the day to 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 touch bases with everyone. And I feel like right now you're you're feeling okay. You're you're in a really good space. So just tell them, hey, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm going to need some time to myself, so I'm going to need to to draw back a little bit and figure all of these things out so you guys are getting giving me too much information. So definitely say that if that's something that you feel, okay? Spending a little bit time of time alone, retreating from this, it's also good for you. So either way, I feel that emotionally you're in a very, very good space and there's a lot of love and support coming through from family members. A lot of you are in a situation where, you know, family members and, and um, the family unit, they might, might require something from you. I feel like you might come to see them. There might be family reunions. There might be a big celebration with family, like a get-together. Um, and they're celebrating you as well, is what I'm sensing, because the King of Cups is a, also a water sign, water element, okay? Um, for others of you, um, especially if you've had some type of past estrangement with your father, your own father, biological or, you know, non-biological father, if there has been some type of a, an estranged relationship from um family members, especially a father figure. This is the month in which I feel like this person might say to you, hey, I'm really proud of you, or, you know, they, they might try to mend that rift, okay? If that is the case, I do feel that their their intentions are sincere, like, especially from a father figure. So I feel like they're, um, they have good intentions and they're trying to mend some type of a rift with you. They might ask you to be around a little bit more to help them with certain things, but I do feel that it's done in the spirit of love, okay? It's not like they're trying to take advantage of you or anything like that, okay? So I do see that coming through. Others of you might be um, just, you know, have another water sign in your midst, an, um, a Pisces, another Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio. 
and I feel that this is somebody that you you're getting a lot of emotional fulfillment for, from and it can be family it can be you know friendship or it can be love and I'm gonna look into your love situation but I feel like things are just overflowing this month you're in a really good space emotionally now in terms of travel movement we do have the two of pentacles and chariot so the two of pentacles indicates a situation where emotionally we're, we're balanced we're actually in a very good space okay and i feel like for a lot of you you might be contemplating some financial options okay such as investments such as deciding between two jobs or even like um managing trying to um, manage two jobs okay like staying afloat working one job in the daytime one job at night struggling like um, ju I'm sorry juggling school life work life love life and work life balance okay all of these things are coming through and I do feel that you're doing it successfully and I feel like in the past you might not have had to you know it was always like relationships come first but I feel like this is a month in which relationships are important yes but career and you know practical um, career considerations are coming through as well so I feel like you're trying to get this personal life and professional life balance going for yourself and I feel like in the past it was more erring on the side of relationship and you end up giving too much and now you're pulling back your energy and you're juggling two things and you're trying to manage and you're doing so very successfully because we have the chariot as well, which indicates like working with these dis, um, disharmonious energies, the black horse and the white horse, harnessing disparate energies in order to go in the right direction, in order to like not be at cross purposes with yourself, in order to like uh, decide what you need to do. So it requires a lot of discipline. It requires a lot of self-awareness and a lot of knowledge and mastery over what it is that you're doing. So I feel a lot of success coming through for you. You might have two job offers that are on the table. You might have two options. One of them, <clears throat> one of them, I feel might be overseas, you know, going overseas by boat or by air. The other options might be by land. So you are deciding between two very different things. They both seem very good. And I, I, I don't feel like there's any, you know, um, anything that can go wrong. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull out another card here because we do have here the Ten of Swords. So let give me just one second. Let me see what's going on here. And then I'll go into your spiritual advice. Something flipped over. Okay, so this the advice here, we do have the Ten of Swords. And I feel like this is something that's basically, when it so shows up as, uh, as advice, it doesn't mean that it's going to come in for the month. This is basically showing up as confirmation for something that you should know and that you should be aware of, okay? So don't fret and don't worry too much. Now, the Ten of Swords basically indicates to you that, you know, something's done and over with. A phase of your life has ended. A new phase is begin. It's beginning. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I feel that for a lot of you, you're in a really good space right now because you've released some things, okay? You're no longer tied to it. And it's basically telling you that was actually a potentially very um, painful situation. You've left it behind. I feel that you're still thinking about it. And I feel like a lot of you might be tempted to go back and it's pretty much, you know, clear cut. This was a really bad situation. You're away from it. There's distance between you and that situation. So move on with your life. A lot of you are still thinking about it. I do sense that. You're still trying to figure out like, hey, should I, you know, entertain that thought? But I feel like it's more in the fantasy realm. It's not, I don't feel you taking steps to get yourself back here, which I think is great. Okay? And one of the things that's coming through to help you here is the Ace of Cups, which is overflowing emotional contentment and love, okay? So you've got new love um, potentially that you have that have, have recently entered the picture and you might be trying to build something with another person and you're in a really good emotional space right now I feel like you're in a really good space and um, this is I'm really glad to see this for you so I pulled out two cards to clarify the ten of swords and I have the princess of pentacles as well as the eight of cups okay so a lot of you might have been uh, somehow involved with an earth sign person so this is a, a Taurus Vir Virgo Capricorn 
and this was potentially a painful situation. It was problematic. It was just um, something that was, I feel like, long-standing. You know, like, it was a long, long-standing thing. And you might have, like, shifted between, you know, lovers and then friends and then seeing where everything goes. But I feel this is the month in which, you know, that situation is coming to an end or it has ended in August, okay? Um, this also denotes to me, like, job situation. A lot of you might be shifting one job for the, the other. Or you are deciding between two jobs and you have already decided and now you're trying to implement the next, um, the next phase. But, you know, there's always that mourning process when we have two options and choosing one option means negating the other one. So I feel like there's that whole, you know, I wonder if I chose option B, what life would be like. So there's that sense of, like, Still weighing out your options, but knowing and, and being smart enough so that you're not going to put yourself back here.